In the eerie darkness of June 9, 1912, in the quiet town of Villisca, Iowa, a gruesome and unsolved mystery unfolded that continues to send chills down spines to this day. Picture a family of six, the Moors, living a seemingly peaceful life, with four innocent children and two visiting friends, all gathered for an annual church event. Little did they know that the night would become a nightmare that would haunt the town forever. As the clock neared 10 p.m., the Moore family and their young guests, Catherine and Lena Stillinger, returned home. But when morning broke, something was terribly wrong. Their neighbor noticed an eerie silence coming from the Moore's house, unusual for a bustling family. When she investigated further, she stumbled upon a scene that would scar her for life. Inside, a gruesome scene awaited her, two bodies covered in blood-soaked sheets, mirrors and windows obscured with clothing, and an unsettling silence. The whole family had been brutally bludgeoned to death with an axe in their sleep. The horror didn't end there. The killer had returned to the parents' room for a second round of violence, leaving behind a macabre and gruesome scene. The townsfolk soon gathered, turning the Moore's property into a frenzied and chaotic crime scene potentially destroying crucial evidence. Panic gripped the town, and fear spread like wildfire. The once peaceful community was forever altered. In the heart of this tragedy, decades later, the abandoned Velisca Axe murder house stood as a grim reminder of the horrors that had occurred that fateful night. A group of audacious mystery solvers, drawn by the legends of the haunting, decided to uncover the chilling secrets that lay within its eerie corridors. As they entered the mansion, the atmosphere grew dense and unsettling, mirroring the horrors of the past. Phantom footsteps echoed in the silence, as if replaying the night of the murders. It was as if the spirits of the Moors and their young guests still roamed the house, seeking justice. The malevolent entity that inhabited the Velisca Axe murder house made its presence known. Cold spots materialized out of thin air, and objects moved on their own. It seemed as if the house itself conspired against the intruders. But what had caused this darkness to linger? Digging into the history of the mansion and the infamous Velisca Axe murders, the brave investigators uncovered a gruesome past. The tragedy of June 1912 unfolded before their eyes, the brutal bludgeoning of the Moore family and their guests. The haunting photographs from the crime scene depicted the innocent victims, forever trapped in the memories of the blood-soaked night. The investigators realized that the antagonist haunting the mansion was the vengeful spirit of the axe-wielding murderer, driven by a thirst for retribution. The malevolent entity sought to convey the horrors of that night and the injustice that had never been resolved. As the group delved further into the chilling history of the Velisca Axe murder house, they found themselves entangled in a web of darkness that threatened to consume them. The malevolent spirit's haunting past unfolded, revealing the horrors of that fateful night and the twisted motivations behind the gruesome murders. Their resolve was put to the test as they sought to appease the vengeful spirit and lay the restless souls to rest. But the malevolent entity would not be easily pacified, and the Velisca Axe murder house held more secrets than they could have ever imagined. This concise, eerie, and enigmatic tale of Whispers of Velisca would immerse audacious horror enthusiasts in a chilling exploration of a real-life haunted mansion and the vengeful spirit that still lurked within its walls, all while honoring the dark history of the Velisca Axe murders. The Velisca Axe murder house still exists and is considered a historical landmark and tourist attraction. The house has been preserved and restored to its appearance at the time of the murders in 1912. Visitors can tour the house and learn about the tragic events that occurred there.